Joey, what are some of the most frustrating things about communicating with people who don't understand communication disability? When people ask me a lot of questions at once, then they walk off after a few moments because they get bored of waiting for a reply. Or when people talk to me like I am stupid until I get them to listen to one of my fantastic speeches. And then their mouth drops because they just worked out that I am very smart. Then they might ask questions or they just run away. I know that people can change their beliefs about disabled people. We just need more people like myself to educate the world. Can you tell us about the communication system you use? This device is called an Accent 1400 and it has a language system which is called Unity. Now you can imagine unity like onion, because unity has layers, just like onion. Every layer has a group of words, so you need to go through a few different layers to select one word. However, it is faster than spelling every word out. On the first layer, I have 144 icons to choose from, so if I choose an icon, then some icons will hide because those icons don't have a sequence for the icon that I chose on the first layer. If I choose an icon on the second layer, I could make a word or I can go to the third layer and make a word. The deeper you go, you will get more specific words. I hope that I didn't lose anyone with my explanation. <laughs> Joey, how long did it take for you to learn how to use your communication system? It took me 10 years. Oh, wow. To learn to use your device. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Thank you for sharing that. And it's really important. Oh, my goodness. So, um, what we often see is that kids get a trial of a device. Did you? Yeah, get a trial. Because they get to trial a device maybe three weeks, six weeks if they're lucky. It's taken Joey 10 years to learn to use his device. It takes children who develop speech typically two years to start communicating in more than 50 words. Yet we're expecting children with disability to learn to use a complex device in three to six weeks to prove they can use it, to prove that they deserve the funding to learn how to use it. Make the least dangerous assumption. Assume competence. Assume potential. The least dangerous assumption is that a person has the potential to learn how to use an augmentative and alternative communication device. Do not assume that if they cannot learn to use it in a three to six week trial that they will not be able to. When well supported and with the right access methods in place, a person can learn to use an AAC system over a longer period of time.